right, Scorpio, welcome to your Love Connection reading for May. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Scorpio, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to at least know each other in some way, shape, or form and believe to have some sort of connection with each other. So we'll see what we get here. Hopefully these energies resonate for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and um, male or female watching. Could be past, present, or future. Please only take it how it resonates for you. Um, if it's not resonating, then it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Um, and don't leave me negative comments because I will delete them. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Um, again, it may or may not be for you, so please keep that in mind. If it's not for you, you can check the description box below for your... A playlist to your love in generals and maybe something there will resonate for you i do consider them all timeless even though they're dated so please check that out or check your um moon rising and venus signs and you can find um my playlist for those other uh signs also so you're free to watch those readings too so let's see what we have for you scorpio in love at this time for the general collective this is a general collective reading not a private reading so let's see what we have for Scorpio. Hope everyone's doing well, staying uh, safe and healthy during this time. All right, for Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. And you can also find a lot of other information down below in the description box, uh, the decks I'm using. Um, <clears throat> if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, information is below on that. Um, or if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, um, social media links, tons of stuff down there. And if you're new, feel free to check out my channel, like what you see. We get about five readings a month if you subscribe and hit the bell. And if you do, thank you. All right. So Scorpio. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet for those that are new. And we'll see how this plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Doesn't mean that the reading's not for you. So let's see what we have for Scorpio, Someone Rising, and Venus, male or female, for the general collective in love at this time. Spirit, please. Well, so I'm going to take that one. I did see Capricorn too, so some could be dealing with the Capricorn. If not, totally fine. So we do have fire, Leo, Sag, or Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But fire energy is very fiery, passionate, go-getter energy, having a lot of drive, ambition, that, that fire, ignited, uh, creative energy. Um, it's very um, inspirational also. Um exciting so and we have 23 there which is five which is about challenge or change so something that could be a very fiery passionate connection here all right so scorpio so the first thing i'm going to do here scorpio is get an energy for you and your person whoever you're thinking about at this time what is the love connection energy opening message for scorpio whoever they're thinking about for this reading Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective, for whoever Scorpio is thinking about at this time. So we have the Blood Dance. This is a new deck for me. It's a journey of love. So this is the first time I'm using it for my love readings for May. So we do have 42 there, which is six, which is about healing and balance. So we have the Blood Dance. So this is something uh, percolating. This is something that's starting to move, starting to flow starting to it's like the blood rising and circulating and pumping and um boiling so either something's very exciting and you you know when you have that new love you get that exciting rush um throughout your body kind of energy that's what i'm kind of getting with this energy so something could be coming into healing and balance and an exciting time very fiery passionate time that could also be the blood dance you know the fire and passion and you know in one's body this connection here hmm all right scorpio what's going on so scorpio what i'm going to do next and you see red there definitely has to do with love all right scorpio so what i'm going to do scorpio for those who are new is i'm going to pull one for you one for your person how you're feeling about each other in the connection so i'll put you here scorpio your person here but if any time you feel like the energies need to be switched and changed please feel free to do that all right and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot look at the actual situation advice possible outcome extra messages with this deck at the end and i always go over the bottoms of the deck also so let's get one for scorpio 
for May, love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective, and love. How was Scorpio feeling about this connection, about the person they're thinking about for this reading? Spirit, please, thank you so much. One. All right, I'm going to take that one because I definitely wanted to flip. Let's get one for Scorpio's person, whoever they're thinking about. All right, for this reading and how they're feeling about Scorpio. I'm going to take this one. So, for you, Scorpio, we have intimacy, 35, 8, which is about travel, action, and uh, communication. So, <laughs> okay, so this, you're feeling very intimate with this person. They make your blood curdle, not curdle, but boil. They make your blood boil. <laughs> very fiery, passionate, intimate energy here you feel with this person. And they have eruption of light, which is 11. To me, is always half of the twin flame number. Added together is two is about um, partnership and unity. So eruption of light is like that light energy we all have within us. Um, so somebody who's just full of light, happiness, joy, positive, faith, hope, expansion, enlightenment. Uh, some people have that healing light worker energy and they just burst it out to the world and it's like, just bursting it out there like eruption of light. So they could have had like total enlightenment on you in this connection. And it's just like erupting inside of them. A lot of passionate, fiery, fiery energy here <laughs> where you just make each other's blood just like boil to the max, like into eruption. Wow. Both feeling each other like in the same way. They definitely uh, see you in this light energy. You have very fiery, passionate, or the roles can be reversed, however that plays out for you. Wow. Let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Let's see what's on the bottom. She loves, which is 61, which is seven. And seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So he or she. So there's definitely love here. And you both make each other like so fiery and passionate and just like blood boiling to the point of eruption. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm giving the X-rated reading here. Holy crap, Scorp. What's going on? Okay, so let's clarify these energy for Scorpio. Someone rising in Venus, male or female. At this time in love. Fool just wanted to pop out. So, all right. Let's clarify these energies for Scorpio. Please, Spirit, thank you so much at this time. What is this intimacy about for Scorpio, the moon. Are you keeping it a secret that you want to be intimate with this person? Because the moon is can be about secrets. It can be about uh, fear, stress, worry, anxiety, um, not seeing things clearly, but listening, you know, needing to listen to your intuition, higher knowing. Oh, cycles. All right, let's get one more. So the moon energy can be Cancer or Pisces. So if I mentioned the sign you're dealing with, that's fine. If not, that's totally fine. It's all just energy. I'll mention the signs briefly as we go. All right, what's this now? Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So this is almost like the sun card to me. So the Ace of Pentacles is a stable new beginning based on a firm foundation, growth, expansion for the future, for the long term, wealth and abundance. So you see... Maybe there's just a lot of just um, intimacy right now between the two of you and there's nothing stable yet. It's just a lot of fire and passion. But somebody here is falling in love with the she or he loves. So somebody here is definitely falling in love, has fallen in love, and wants a stable new beginning long term. But maybe keeping that a secret. So you could be keeping this a secret from your person. You know, maybe you want to keep them around so you know you just have this like this fiery passionate energy between the two of you but there is a longing here for or a fear or a longing of this long-term connection the star wow aquarius energy and there's the eruption of light and there's a light of the star so they've had this total awakening um feeling the divinely guided energy faith hope optimism Wishes and dreams coming true, divinely guided. It's like they've been totally enlightened here to this divinely guided energy. 
throw their wish, their dream come true. Wow. All right. So let's get one more for Scorpio. All the readings have been coming out like so positive. So I don't know if it's the current conditions of the world. I think we need some positive energy in this world we're in right now. So let's see what else here. Six of Pentacles. So yeah, wanting equal give and take, reciprocity, balance. Wow. And there's the moon. Moon right there. They want to balance things out with you. They want this equal give and take. They've been divinely guided now about this connection. Total enlightenment. They're ready just to burst, even though there's passion between you. But you have, I think you have stress, fear, wear, fear worry, anxiety that it may not come to be or this offer. But it, I feel it's coming here. It's coming. So let's see. Let's see here the actual situation for you, Scorpio. Eight of Wands in reverse. So this is about taking action, travel, communication. Cupid's arrows. You're worried this may not come in. There may not. You're worried there may not be action. Or, you know, love messages or whatever here. You're worried this is not going to come through. What do we have here? So we have the Prince of Wands in the world. So I believe this is the Knight of Wands. This is fiery, passionate travel, action, taking action, very exciting, fiery. So the Prince of Wands can be, um, I believe that's the Knight of Wands. So that could be Leo. It doesn't have to be. But um, it could be, again, just that in and out. And I don't want to say in and out player but maybe just that in and out energy of we come together for a fiery, passionate, good time. And that's all that it really is right now. But people are falling in love right now, but maybe aren't really voicing that or they can't come together total fully right now because of the state of the world. And that's why the Eight of Wands is in reverse. There's no travel. There's no action being taken. So, but we do have the world here. So this is closing out cycles, challenges, that are no longer working and starting a new cycle, new chapter to growth, expansion. So here we do have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, the world energy. It's like a whole new world. See, this is right on the star, which is about healing. The world has to heal first before there can be equal give and take in this connection. So yeah. Your person's feeling kind of bored, melancholy. Maybe they're alone right now, not with you. So they're sitting there thinking about you <laughs> in isolation here and uh, wondering, you know, when am I going to be with my person? Because I want to give them their desires, their wishes, their hopes, their fantasies. And I want that equal give and take between the two of us. All right, so one more, one more. I'll take that one. The seven of wands. So, so this can be about fighting for this, defending this. It can be about being on guard and defensive or just standing up and taking a stand and fighting for this. They want to stand up and fight for this. Equal give and take between the two of you. They're divinely guided now. They've been enlightened. They know exactly what kind of divinely guided connection this is. But again, isolation, there's no travel, there's no communication. So you have fear here of this offer, whether or not it's going to come in. But I see they want to give that offer here. They don't want to give up yet. They're still thinking of you. But the world has to heal first before anyone can come together. All right, so... So let's get advice, advice... For you Scorpio and this connection the six of wands so yeah there will be success victory in this in this connection eventually <laughs> six of wands giving each other a lot of attention and balance again six about healing and balance four of wands so possible twin flame soulmate energy here stable this is commitment marriage so that's on the horizon, either commitment, marriage, or a more stable connection between the two of you, coming together, ceremony, celebrations, a very stable home life between the two of you. 
All right, a lot of fire energy here. So let's see. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You can make a fire there. So Leo, Aries, or Sag. What else for your advice? The Princess of Pentacles. So this is the Page of Pentacles. So there's, uh, there's the offer coming in. So they definitely will be communicating here. And it's all about stability, structure, balance. Um, it's practical. It's smart. It's trustable. You know, long term. So some sort of um, stable communication will be coming in. Offer. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So this could be an energy of walking away, but walking to something more fulfilling. So if you're worried here that they've walked away, or there'll be a walking away here, just know that some sort of stable offer will be coming in communication, which will lead to success, victory, a very stable connection for the two of you, whether it's living together, moving in together, buying a home, marriage, commitment, some way, shape, or form. And that news could be coming in with the bird here. See the bird there, which is about news coming in, communication. And there's birds here. But there's two, there's still cups standing here, but there's cups laying down. So I think you're worried here uh, about there may be a total walking away, but I don't think that's going to happen because look, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom. Wow, I can't make this up. So this is a divinely guided brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing. There is a lot of love here, and we have she loves here with the <laughs> Ace of Cups. So, yeah. They're not walking away from you. Look at all this love and emotions overflowing. Divinely guided energy. The Ace of Cups. All right. So, let's get a possible outcome for this connection for Scorpio, whoever they're thinking of. Nine of Cups. So, there you go. Wish fulfillment. Lovers coming into union. Happiness and joy. What else here for Scorpio? Scorpio. Six of Swords. So, yeah, going in a much better direction here. Peace, harmony, um, healing and balance. Again, with the six, a lot of sixes here, which is about healing and balance. Six of Swords going in much better direction together, going into more comfortable, peaceful waters. What else here for possible outcome for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. And we have the Prince of Swords. So this is going to happen quickly because this is the Knight of Swords, um, which could be Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. So <laughs> this will happen very fast. Once this world heals, people can start to come back together here. This is going to happen very quickly. The Prince of Swords is a very fast-paced action. It takes action very quickly. With the sword of truth and clarity, open, honest communication, uh, cunning wave energies that are no longer serving, kind of energy. So someone's going to stand up with truth and clarity and rush in quickly to move this in a better direction to wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. This brand new divinely guided beginning in love. Once, I feel like the world has to heal first. So, all right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We'll look at that, the sun. And I just spoke about the world healing. So this is about massive healing. Healing, enlightenment, a happy home and family, success, victory um, kind of energy. We have the moon and the sun here, divine feminine, masculine energy. So we have divine couple here with the masculine and the feminine here. So soulmate twin flames coming into union to their happiness and joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, everything positive with the sun, but death here. So again, um, Things coming full circle, things ending, uh, healing, um, transformation, energy. And the sun, you know, again, about the healing of the world and ending of this time that we're in. And then coming together here, the Queen of Wands energy, taking a leap of faith. <laughs> wow. So Queen of Wands energy here can be um, Aries, but doesn't have to be. The Fool is Aquarius. So... <laughs> Queen of Wands is a fiery, passionate, go-getter, exciting energy. That's a fire energy. So again, you know, taking a leap of faith, resetting at zero, jumping right in, having a fresh start, and being very fiery, passionate here. See Empress here. And I felt that with the feminine energy here in the chariot. And the lovers, are you kidding me right now? And temperance. Oh my god, look at all the look at all the major arcana here. 
So the Empress, <laughs> value, worth, birth of something new. The chariot moving forward um, with a lot of drive and balance and victory. Victorious movement forward, balance. Here, the Emperor or the Empress. And then we have the lovers, soulmate union with Gemini, Cancer. Empress here is Libra Taurus. And we got temperance, which is that Sagittarius energy, healing, balance, patience. Um, this temperance angel brings the soulmates together which we do have soulmate twin flame lovers here wow driving if forward here successful successful and balanced and birth of something new with the empress energy here prince of cups so loving communication moving forward in love here wow moving forward in love with the knight that's the knight of cups so that could be scorpio that's your energy it's your energy. So moving forward in love here. Value, worth, beginning of... Wow. So a lot of major, major here. Soulmate, twin flame. Having a new beginning. Once <laughs> we can come into union after this, there's the ending of this and massive healing of the energies in the world right now. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's get... I feel like... I feel like you're not together right now. You're separated because of, of the current conditions. Um, so you could live in different states, cities. Um, I'm not getting like different countries, but um, there could be like a driving ban in whatever state you're in. So you can't go out of state, you know, or something like that. So it's preventing the two of you from being together. There's something here I feel like preventing the two of you from being together with the Eight of Wands in reversed. So, but I feel like once things are lifted, there's he massive healing in the world and people are starting to come back together. This definitely is heading straight for commitment, marriage or, of some kind between two soulmate twin flames here. Definitely a lot of love and passion here between two. All right, Scorpio, let's get some closing messages for you, for Scorpio. Scorpio, what are the closing messages for Scorpio, please? Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Divine animals. So you could be dealing with a Leo, because that reminds me of uh, Leo here, 22, which is about unity, and it's double. So unity, partnerships, which is four. Four is the twin flame number, 1111, 11, which again, stability, foundation, so you could both, um, maybe this is a very animalistic attraction, passionate attraction between the two of you, but it's very divine also. But maybe, um, I don't know, you have a connection through animals or something in some way, shape, or form. Maybe um, you have animal spirit guides, or maybe you see like the animal, same animal all the time, which is maybe like a form of communication or um, or something like that, or something that gives you clarity, or a sign, or a symbol, or you could both have pets, animals, both love animals in some way, shape, or form, however that resonates for you, but we do see the big heart there, so definitely a lot of love here also, maybe you both just have a big love for animals, all right, so let's see here, healing, yeah, and what did I say, five, change, challenge, the world needs massive healing before a lot of people can come together. A lot of people can't come together right now, not just Scorpios, because of the state of the world and there needs to be massive healing throughout the world before these unions can happen. Because healing in the sun, massive, massive healing, double healing, wow. It could also be somebody here uh, is heal. And you get any energy of someone needing to heal here. I'm feeling, you know, world, world healing, to be honest. All right, so what else here for one more for Scorpio? Visualize 17 here, which is eight, which is that travel action communication. So visualizing what it would be like to have this traveling action communication uh, coming together with this person, like law of attraction, manifesting bottom of the deck here soul journey this is quite a journey here with this soulmate connection here nine which is coming 
to a completion. So this will come to a completion. So we did have the Nine of Cups here, which is the soul journey here too. Wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. And it's saying here, right here, create space for this person because they will be coming into your life for the long term here. But it's a, quite a journey for the two soulmates here. Okay, Scorpio, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.